Good morning and welcome back to my porch. I'm Becky, your porch host, and it's so glad to see you this morning in some semblance of way. And I'm so glad to see the sunshine this morning. That's even more amazing. And I'm even more glad that you could join with me and enjoy our next devotional reading. Our devotional reading again comes from this Morning Glories devotional book. And our scripture reading today comes from Mark chapter 10, verses 13 through 16. And it says this, And they were bringing children to him that he might touch them, and the disciples rebuked them. But when Jesus saw it, he was indignant and said to them, Let the children come to me. Do not hinder them, for to such belongs the kingdom of God. Truly, I say to you, Whoever does not receive the kingdom of God, like a child, shall not enter it. And he took them in his arms and blessed them, laying his hands on them. And our devotional reading says, In our relationships with people, some things are so simple that they may be overlooked. For instance, a smile is the finest medium of exchange that we possess. A smile can dramatically change one's appearance for the better. If you doubt this, try standing in front of a mirror wearing your usual face and say this is what people generally see when they look at me. Then smile at yourself in the mirror. Now what do people see? A light in your eyes? The corners of your mouth turned up rather than grimly down? And admit it, you feel better when you see the smiling you. We live in a world where many people are harried and frustrated and tired. Frown lines are carved into too many faces, but try smiling at them. It's important not to wait for the other person to smile first. They may be waiting for you to smile. A smile is the shortest distance between two people. When you smile, not only are you meeting someone's need for a spot of human warmth, but you are also meeting your own emotional needs as the other responds. Some people claim that Jesus never smiled. They didn't get that out of the Bible. How can I be so sure? Because I know a little about children. I'm certain that then and now, a child would shrink from an unsmiling, grim-visaged person. The very opposite is inherent in he took them up in his arms. How vital then, as Christian parents, Sunday school teachers, and others who influence the children around us, we reflect something of Jesus' warmth and concern for little children. At the very least, we can smile. A smile cuts across all language barriers. After I'd visited my daughter, a missionary nurse in what is now Bangladesh, I asked her, do any of your people remember me? Her response, what a question! Of course they do. They tell me your mama smiled a lot. I couldn't speak a word of Bengali, but I could smile in their language. Likewise, a smile recognizes no age limits. Watch a baby's face light up or an elderly person respond to a warm smile. A smile, while costing us not a penny, is priceless for building relationships. A smile is something you and I can afford to give and be richer for having given it. What a great thought for today. A smile, can you just imagine? If everybody in the world smiled a little more often. I have a very varied work background and some of the places that I worked was just by the telephone. And we were told in customer service, and it's customer service 101, that when you pick up the phone to answer it, that you smile as you greet the person. Because that smile can be heard through the phone line. How important when we can't see each other a smile is but even when we're together, how much more important that smile is. Some of the other places I worked was a daycare. Another place I worked was a nursing home. 
and both sides of that coin on both ends of the age range there between newborn children and people that were getting ready to depart this world all wanted some warmth a human touch and a smile to warm their day so today I encourage you whether you're talking to people on the phone wherever you are wherever you're working or if you're actually being able to see someone in person let's smile a little bit more let's share that love with each other when we can't be together I love you but more importantly God loves you have a blessed day bye bye